This is David Goldman, Asia Times Deputy Editor, speaking to you from New York City on the evening of April 21st. The United States of America, the country that invented mass production of autos and made car own ownership a matter for the common man, is, well, out of cars. Uh, a last-minute car rental in Arizona will cost you $700 a day for an SUV, and the smallest subcompact in Florida is going for about $2,000 a week. There simply aren't any cars to be had. A few days ago, we showed you the explosion of used car prices, and I'm going to show you the same chart again because it's gone up another 10% in the past month. This is the Mannheim Index of Used Car Prices, and it shows an astonishing 41% increase in the price of used cars during the past year. This is because uh, cars aren't being produced. It's not because car demand is particularly high. A car today is basically a computer on wheels, 40% of the value of a car is semiconductors, and America's trade war with China and other factors have led to a global semiconductor shortage. This has caused a shutdown in auto production. In December, the United States was making cars at a 12 million annual rate. Now it's making them at a 9 million annual rate. Dealers have nothing in their lots. Typically, American auto dealers had between 1 and 1.2 million cars available for sale at any given time. It's now down to 377,000, which is scraping the bottom of the barrel. The, the big car rental companies sold off their fleets of used cars earlier this year at what they thought were staggering prices, and they can't buy new ones. This has led to a burst of inflation in the car market, which mirrors a similar burst of inflation in the housing market. As we pointed out, with housing prices rising at nearly 12% a year, the Federal Reserve's view that inflation is not a problem is kind of hard to swallow. The, the American government reports shelter inflation rising at just 1.7% a year, which doesn't make sense when it costs 12% more to buy a house. And if you add what's going to happen to shelter and car prices together, I estimate that the measured inflation rate in the United States is going to rise to 4 to 5% by the end of this year, which is the highest in a generation. That means that bond yields, which are now pricing an inflation of about 2.7%, are going to have to rise another 1.3 to 1.5% by the end of the year. And rising bond yields are going to be extremely painful for the stock market. So my advice is, be afraid, be very afraid. It's a very good time to take out interest rate hedges, for example, some of the inverse exchange-traded funds which move in the opposite direction of bond prices uh, as a hedge against what's coming down the road. This is David Goldman, Asia Times Deputy Editor.